Hello, everybody. I'm Lauren Simonetti. More nips and tucks. According to the American Society for Aesthetic Plastic Surgery, more than 11 million cosmetic surgical procedures were performed last year, up 18 percent from back in 2009. Joining us now from Orlando, Dr. Armando Soto, a board-certified plastic surgeon and founder of Aesthetic Enhancements Plastic Surgery. Welcome, doctor. Thank you, Lauren. Nice to be here. Great to see you. So why are we more likely to go under the knife right now? than in years past? Well, I think the most recent statistics reflect a couple of things. You know, generally speaking, there's been a recovery in the economic situation we've all been living with for the past four or five years. Uh, and I think that the, the numbers we're seeing reflect that. Um, but I do also think that there's an increase in interest, um, generally um, between uh, patients uh, who are women and seeking to maintain their appearance, and also among men who are more interested in cosmetic surgery at this point. How big is the increase that you're seeing in men in particular? You know, in, in my individual practice, we've seen an increase of about 10% over the past couple of years. Um, I think nationally, the increase is a little bit more significant, mm -hmm. um, but, but it, uh, I think it's definitely uh, measurable and, and evident. Do selfies have anything to do with this? We're constantly posting pictures of ourselves on social media. Right. We might be more judgmental. You know, I think that, generally speaking, people are seeing two-dimensional images of themselves much more often nowadays, uh, whether it's, you know, Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. Um, you know, people are taking a lot of self-portraits. <laughs> and uh, in, a, in a lot of these self-portraits, you know, they're, they're at a sporting event, they're making funny faces, they're leaning over in funny ways. And, and those kind of poses and the lighting involved can uh, bring out flaws that we wouldn't, you know, maybe not otherwise be as bothered by. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think that people are, are noticing things more now. Fortunately, with the tricks on Instagram and the other apps out there, we can fix right. some of those flaws. But yeah, I know what you mean. We still think about them a right. lot. So I have to ask you, are most of the, the cosmetic surgical procedures that you're doing, are they related to the face or is liposuction and breast implants still big? You know, nationally, the most common and most popular procedures are still liposuction and breast augmentation. Mm -hmm. um, th but we definitely are doing um, a lot of non-invasive things on the face and body nowadays. Um, you know, there's a few that are particularly popul popular. So I would expect the trend to continue to increase overall, but the numbers in between procedures will probably change. I take it non-invasive would be Botox? Not just Botox, uh, you know, because we think of Botox more as a minimally invasive. You know, there's minimally still a, a, okay. a tiny needle involved, so it's still a tiny bit invasive. Non-invasive would be procedures like cool sculpting where there's not even a needle involved. Um, what And those sculpting, procedures, doctor? I think, are going to explode. What kind of sculpting? It's called cool sculpting. I've never and heard it's, of uh, this. It's, oh, it's awesome. It's <laughs> uh, FDA-approved non-invasive permanent reduction in fat. So it's, uh, it's a really up. exciting development. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, th I think that, again, I, I think the number of procedures is going to continue to increase, but I expect there to be a decline in overall liposuction over the next few years as more people hear about uh, things like cool sculpting. And one final question. Um, is the, even though there are more surgeries being done, is the revenue about the same, maybe even a little bit lower because some of these options are technically less expensive? Botox is less expensive than a face, uh, facelift, for instance. Absolutely it is. You know, I wouldn't uh, be able to speak to the national uh, mm -hmm. revenue. Um, I don't really think that revenue has gone down because, um, for instance, in my own practice, while the less invasive procedures um, are generally less expensive to have, you can also do more of them in a certain period of time mm -hmm. and more people, more people are interested in them. So overall, I think we're probably seeing more people even though the procedures are less invasive. Great to meet you. Thank you so much for that. Have a beautiful day. Nice to meet you, too. Thank okay. you. You, too, Lauren. And everybody, check out Dr. Soto's website, drarmandosoto.com. Thank you, everybody, for watching.